Well, hopefully you guys have got your copy, and you got 10 minutes, so we can just see what OG Rathman's well, up to. Well, we got our supplies, our stuff. Let's see what we got in this box. You, you, do you do the you do the flavors there, okay. Charlie? All right, let me just take it. Zip that thing open. All right. That's pretty good plastic. Yeah. But, oh, oh, she's trying to steal something. Oh, getting her medicine ball. Yeah. It's legal in this state. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't get caught. <laughs> Mom, you got your medical card. You got one. Oh. <laughs> There's one box. There's two. Hey. Oh, it's made in China. I thought that said made in Mexico for a minute. Yeah. I was okay with that, but China? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Well, let's open it up and see what we got. The hell the Chinese know about a Jeep? I think that's the way it opens, huh? Yeah. No, nah, I think it unfolds. No? Yeah. Yeah? No? Well, it is the way it opens now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's made out of well metal. packed. Yeah, they got it packed like it's made out of glass. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, no. Of bitch. <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> well, there's a nut over there. Went that yeah. way. Oh, man. Way over there by your foot there. I think that's all about fell out. Oh. I got video of it. We can replay. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm going to open mine a different way. <laughs> no oh, this doubt. was yours. Oh, yeah. That's heavy duty. Oh, yeah. That's, that's Good quality see. for for Japanese or see. Chinese. Chinese, see, see. Pretty. Yeah. And they got to work. And this is the other last pretty. Here's the tools and the instructions and <laughs> pictures. Too. Oh, we don't want no damn instructions. Yeah. Oh, instructions are for beginners. Well, oh, there's the two latches. Okay, there's the two latches. Okay. Looks like a heavy duty kit, doesn't it? Yeah. That goes on the side of the truck, and then this. Up on the hood. Latches to that. Yeah. Hell, if we're going to lose none of the parts. Okay, yeah, we good. This, this is the uh, screw in a bolt. The other one's got a nut on it, so we didn't lose anything. Yeah, what do we got on the bottom of here? Yeah, them are all there still. Them just come unscrewed. Yeah. Well, that's what we're going to put on. We're going to do that tomorrow, though, but you'll see it next. Oh, oh we got more stuff I'm down there. I'm going to drop it in the box <laughs> so we don't keep falling out of that little thing, huh? Uh-huh. All right, well, guys, we're going to put this on tomorrow from what we understand because we... We don't need to read the instructions because I can look at it right now and tell you that's a 13. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's that's a three millimeter. Oh yeah, that would be. Allen. And what size would that bolt be? That'd be about a 10, wouldn't it? That's uh, a 10. Yeah, I, yeah. It looks, looks to be. A, it, yeah, it's a 10. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, and you know. <laughs> because we got the eye. That's right. We we know. Yeah. We All right, guys, we're gonna put that on in the next clip. Just point that right down here. Okay, this is this is the kit I got. It's the uh, same thing, I think, as Charlie's got. Uh, I'm going to open it. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I'll open it this way so nothing falls out. There's the kit. <laughs> hey, boy, I tell you, it's hard to live that down. Yeah, yeah, I got it on video. But but I had my wife distracting me, telling oh, me how to do it. I do it every time. But we do got our all of our uh, wrenches with it, which is cool. But I think Charlie's got some T handles. It'll be much easier. Yep. And uh, this is nice. It looks good. It feels solid. All the all the screws have got backups, and it's pretty good. <laughs> Man, what's your favorite? Huh? Yeah, this is that's heavy duty. That'll yeah, work. it is. It's heavy. Now what we got to do, we got to take this part apart. Right, right. No, uh, yeah, that part. So we can get in there and tighten that up. But 
All right, well, I think that'll do it. Yeah, more to come. More to come. Yeah. Go. <laughs> push the button. Yeah. Well, we're starting to install. Looking for the tools what to do it. What do you need for down there? Need a t uh, that's a that one's a thirteen. Okay, here's the and a, and a little socket, a little ran, a little ratchet. There's a hole you got to work through to get to that bolt back there. Okay, it's back right there. Uh, be a lot easier if we took the fender off. If the fender was off, it wouldn't be easier if you took the fender off because it'd be a lot more work. But if the fender wasn't there, that'd be easy. Yeah. So we're going to try to get a wrench down in here, right in back in here. I know you can't see it. Uh, not even if I lighten it up, but yeah, it's right underneath that. Thank so we're going to take that off. You got it on off? Yep. Okay. Lefty Lucy. Is that going to get down in there? Yeah, there she goes. Okay, I'm going to get a light and help him out here, but we're going to take that one off. Then we take these two off, and then we replace them. That's pretty simple, except for getting your fingers in well, there. That's difficult, but not impossible. Uh, if you got a little skinny girl's fingers, that'd work better than these fat things we sausages we got. Now we're going to take some, we're going to clean this thing up uh, before we do anything. Grab that spray there in that rag, and let's clean that this dirt off of this. Okay. Don't grab the poop bag. <laughs> I'll probably figure it out. Though. Yeah, if it gets something between your fingernails, spray a little on that, and we'll clean that thing up. Because once you're there, clean it. That's Mr. Clean. It'll take care of you. There that she is. That might take five pounds off the Jeep. Yeah. There we go. We got that cleaned up. Now all we got to do is okay, open up the box. This is how it came off. Now see this whoops, this piece on this one is stuck there. So you don't have to worry about it twisting as you're taking it off. But these here, we'll, uh, we'll get them out of the box and I'll show you how they Yeah, you notice, you notice uh, we ain't got it together. Because Butterfinger's blood, <laughs> yep. right there, <laughs> and his big old long screwdriver. Oh. And this little girl down here, he dropped the bolt, and it went into the rock guard, not down to the ground, down to the rock guard, and she <laughs> saved the day. Indeed. Thank hey guys, you, Vicky. I forgot to tell you on all the tools you need. One thing you want to keep on hand is a small woman. They come in really handy. <laughs> and them little bitty fingers will get places your big sausages won't. Did what we're going to do now is we're going to take these off. These are a 10. I got one off already, as you can see. We're going to take them off and replace them with uh, the other hardware that comes with this. We also got to put this piece back in here. You got to take it apart. I don't know if I mentioned that, but you got to take it apart. This part off. That's the part that's bolted on now. You got to have that off so you can get to that back in there. And what size did we end up using on that uh, thing? Was that a five? Yeah. Was a, this is a five in here, guys. So we're going to go ahead and uh, reassemble this piece onto there now. And then we'll do the one on the top. And that side will be done. Not only that, that's a five minute job that took us an hour. <laughs> All right, let's get on to that. We're going to pull that off, do the same thing up here. We're going to clean this off so we can mount the other one up there. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you what we're using here. This is a 10. This is a, what, three-quarter inch, a quarter-inch wrench. And if you do it right, see, you can put that right down through there, see? So don't fight it. It will slide in there. Then you get it back there and crank on it, and get her loosened or get her tightened. I wanted to show you that to save you a little trouble. Well, we got them on. That's what they look like. We like the looks of them. They're very sturdy built, like we said earlier. Uh, they got a little rubber thing in there. Don't forget that like we did But if you do it's easy to put back in it's got a little safety catch it calls it But these are man you you know what hood flutter is on your Jeep. That'll take care of it right there uh, When you go by a big truck with them rubber things on they stretch the old hood will shake It won't come open because it's got a safety catch But that's that one now. We're gonna take a break because that five-minute job turned into a lot longer than that we're going to do them on this one, on the old toad here. So, I'll show you them when we get done. Same thing here. You got the little spot here. You can drop your wrench down through. And then you can get down to this one bolt here. These come off real quite easy. And if you're 
good at it they go back on pretty easy just don't drop your nut that was a problem here we dropped one of the nuts and that took us forever luckily we had the woman gotta have a little girl on hand <laughs> well this is all the wrenches we needed to do the whole thing it came with the kit it, uh, uh, kit came with the Allens you need, but if you've got the T-handled T-handled ones like that up there, they're, they're a little handier. But that's all you needed right there to put them on. And now they're on. Let's go look how pretty they are. we got to clean up the stuff, but they look good. They, I think, look good. And they work great. No more hood flutter. So, that's the end of this video. That was a five-minute video that took us all day. <laughs> but we're done. What a beautiful day in Louisiana. Thanks guys, subscribe.